Hello everyone, my name is Rara Zaizu, and today we're gonna talk about your battery and why you should give it a break. <music> kernels. No, not that kind of kernels. This kind of kernels. A kernel is a piece of software that basically const. <coughs> A kernel is a piece of software that basically constitutes the core part of the Android operating system or any other operating system for that matter. It's the thing that converts whatever is software into hardware. It's the piece of code that talks with the hardware and tells it what to do. In Android, if you have a rooted device, you can control that kernel to suit your needs. Do you want to play a really heavy game that your 5 year old phone cannot handle by default? With a simple kernel tweak, you can actually basically at least open up the game without it laughing at your tiny little brick that you're holding. Today I'm gonna talk about governors or kernel governors and I'll leave the rest for later because kernels are big big things to talk about. And in governors, I'm gonna talk about five basic governors that are found on every single phone. Interactive, on demand, user space, power save, and performance. So I'm gonna start from bottom to top because, well, why not? The performance governor. Performance governor in the kernels basically lock your CPU clock speed at the highest available. Whatever is the case, your CPU is at maximum available speed. While this may sound like an ugly idea, there is growing evidence to suggest that a phone at its maximum CPU frequency will allow a faster race to idle time. Race to idle is a process by which a phone completes its task and puts the CPU to sleep. But we all know that performance is basically an overkill. You're putting your phone into the maximum available clock speed while turning on all cores available. That's a big hit on your battery juice. But it gives you the ultimate performance that your phone can handle. Until it overheats and then throttles. Well, <laughs> good luck with that. Next up is power save. And yeah. You should probably know what I'm talking about. The power save kernel governor is basically the complete opposite of the performance kernel governor. Power save kernel governor puts your CPU into the lowest available possible frequency that your CPU can handle without shutting your phone off. On my LG G4 here, I have the CPU minimum frequency set to 384 MHz, and if I put my CPU governor to power save, it'll stay that way no matter what task I give it. This gives you the ultimate battery saving technology or method available, but it'll make your phone pretty damn slow. And you know, you don't want that in front of your friends. You don't want your phone lagging while talking on WhatsApp, for example. User space, I have no idea what user space is. So let's go ahead and browse XDA. In the thread that I'm gonna link down below, user space governor is exceptionally rare for the world of mobile devices, allows any program executed by the user to set the CPU's operating frequency. This governor is more common amongst servers or desktop PCs where an application, like a power profile app, needs privileges to set the CPU clock speed. So basically user space governor allows for kind of maximum flexibility to your CPU states, uh, you have to actually put the rules in. You can tune any CPU governor that's not power save or performance. On demand kernel governor. On demand kernel governor is my second favorite governor because it uh, really gives us a huge performance boost while keeping the battery life uh, somewhat normal. On demand, governor basically says whenever we have a certain load on the CPU, just ramp up the CPU frequency to its max so that we can end this task and then go back to sleep gradually. So my phone's maximum frequency on the big CPU is um, 1.8 GHz. So if I put this on on demand, and whenever I, whenever I touch the screen, it will ramp up from 384 MHz to 1.8 GHz 
finish the task given and then gradually go back down to 384 MHz. This gives you a lot of performance benefits but will make a hit on your battery life. Last but not least is the Interactive Governor. The Interactive Governor is my favorite CPU governor because of its flexibility and dynamic CPU clock speed scaling. You can actually configure every single rule to dynamically scale your CPU to suit your needs. I link to an XDA guide that's really good that helps you find your optimal CPU frequencies for both the big CPU and the small CPU for the big little architecture CPUs. I followed this guide and for my big CPU I have a lot of target loads which basically means that if my load is at 68% for example let the CPU frequency go to 480 megahertz if it is at 84% ramp it up to 1.8 gigahertz it is really complicated and it has a lot of tunables as they call it and if you know all about CPU governors you should totally use interactive and tune it to suit your needs for ultimate performance and battery saving. The XDA guide mentioned below will give you the performance you need when you need it and the battery saving you need when you don't need heavy tasks such as browsing the web or talking on WhatsApp. That's it from me today. Be sure to check out my previous videos on this channel. Also like the video if you did, subscribe to my channel for more content like this and follow me on Twitter at rarazizo underscore icehawk. This is Rarazizo on Kernel Governors and I'll see you soon.